Hello and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 for a bit of a one-off video, um, a mod review video. That's something I don't usually do, but I've decided that this time around it was definitely worth doing. Uh, and specifically, what I'm going to be looking at is a modding team called 4D Modding. Now, I, I've known their mods since FS19, um, and every time I've downloaded one of the mods, it's been probably one of the best quality mods that you can uh, find on the game. This is obviously down to my opinion, and a lot of it is British equipment. But there is some mods now by 4D Modding available for FS22, which is why I'm doing this video, and especially the Bailers. I have to say that the Bailers, for me, are probably one of the best mods in, in the bailing category that I've actually seen uh, in regards to FS19, FS22, and the like. So definitely worth uh, checking these bail Bailers out and uh, seeing what you think for yourself. So what I'm going to be doing in this video is basically giving you a representation of what 4D Modding offers, what their mods are, uh, what the team is, I believe it's a team, I think, I'm, I'm pretty certain that it's a team at 4D Modding, um, and I know they're based in Ireland, so I know they're, a, I think they're a group of people that play the game as well, do contracts, and you can check all this information out on the website, and I know 4D Modding, I think, um, either as a standalone part of that, or, or a part of a team, um, I'm not 100% certain on that, I just know that they make absolutely great mods, and it's definitely worth just giving you a bit of a showcase of what their mods are. Now, like I've said, a lot of them are like a British style, but there is a few that you probably just don't want to miss out on anyway, which I will be showing you in a second, which is the Bailers. We'll go be out having a look at them Bailers. Uh, definitely, probably most of the video will be looking into these Bailers because especially the Heston Bailer, it is insanely good. Uh, but what I've decided to do then is just like, obviously line up some of the equipment you can get now. Now, there will be more mods coming out. Uh, you've probably seen if you watched me play FS19, especially on Challenton Valley, I was using the Mech Fiber um, mixer, the feed mixer. That's made by 4D Modding, and that's going to be coming soon, hopefully, to FS22. If you check out their Facebook page, which I'll put a link in the video description, you can always keep up to date. Go show some love, give them a thumbs up, follow, follow their page, and you'll definitely keep up to date with what they're converting at the moment from their FS19 mods. And then also you'll see anything new that's coming. I think they are in the works. Uh, I'm doing some new equipment. So the first thing I'm going to show you is a manure spreader that they offer. You've obviously got the customised number plates. I think you can have all the way up to like Irish number plates, Welsh number plates, Scotland, uh, from obviously England. There's a, there is a lot, and I will show you um, in detail that. We'll, we'll pick one equipment. I think they're all the same, so you can actually get a good range of the number plate style. But this is a high-spec side spreader. So if you've ever seen these on... Um, some British farms around you'll see that are quite common that obviously people are moving on to the ones that you can hold a bigger volume and they kind of spread a little bit but these are still in use and yeah they, they kind of put manure in they spread out from the sides um, and it is pretty good to see but this is the high spec um, 1000 and you can get this again from the website really detailed I do like it and if you've got like a nice British small farm going maybe Oxy's new one when it comes out these kind of mods will be perfect but I think what we'll do first thing is we'll actually have a look at this we'll put some manure in and you can see and we'll, we'll probably spread some of it just to see what it looks like now obviously this ain't going to go anywhere but you can see the animation itself and what you will notice is if you don't stand in the poo you'll see the actual animations on most of these mods are spot on they really are and you can see the chains going out and spreading the manure and it is quite a good spread that's one of the mods that you have to offer um, and there is another one over here, which is the Abbey. So this one over here is the Abbey 2550, I believe, side spreader again. Um, so it's just basically the same what we've done. I think it might hold a bigger volume as well. And add some manure. You can see this one in action as well. So it's about the same spread. Um, I'd have to look at the volume. That was 11,000. I'm getting my tractor all dirty here. Yeah, so it will hold more. That's a bigger spreader. Um, it's got obviously jewels at the back and it's definitely a, a much bigger spreader but you can see that the detail again on these um, without standing in the poo which is something you don't want to do but again really good detail just some mods that they do, obviously do they do the manure spreader they are working on a high spec uh, slurry spreader which I did actually see in FS19 which again was really good and again perfect for a British farm uh, but yeah they do offer some really good mods on that, that side of stuff so now, another thing that they do offer that's really good, and especially in FS19, was the silage trailers and the trailers that you can use for wheat as well. You do have options to change this to a silage trailer or a uh, trailer just for grain like this one is. Um, and again, the detail on this is really good. And the, the thing that stands out for me, it's the small things, is this. 
So if you put the beacons on, look at that. How cool is that? So obviously at night time, if you're doing some carting at night, that'll be really good. I do like the fact that it looks really... It's got the LEDs uh, at the back as well when the beacons are going. A lot of these mods as well, you'll find that you can open doors, open compartments. Um, and I think with this one, you can actually open... If you press that, it's all got sound effects as well. You can actually open, like you've seen there, this little toolbox. So small things like that, and you especially you'll notice that on the balers. So if we tip here, let's have a go at this. We'll try and listen to it. Obviously I'm tipping green, with it being a green trailer. And again, it's got custom number plates, so you can put in like a, an Irish style number plate, a British style number plate, Welsh, whatever you want. Um, and I will show you, after we've looked at the next trailer, which is a silage one, uh, there is two types to download. There's the dually 16 ton uh, or 19 ton trailer, which is this one. And then there's also the next one, which is the Kane MQ 12 ton trailer. And again, they both have silage configurations, which is good to see. So let's turn this engine off quickly, so we can actually hear these things. Uh, so this one over here is the Kame, and as you can see, properly traditional, what you'd see on an English style farm if you're doing silage and carting, um, really good detail again. But if we just quickly unload here, I'll show you that in action. I do like the fact, fact as well that the trail at the back, uh, the actual the door at the back, it's, it kind of slams. It doesn't just connect shut. It's kind of got that realistic effect where when it's finished, obviously tipping. And if we just quickly do that now, you'll watch, if I get there in time, that this will just kind of like bang and then there you go. S the small things are really good. So if we just try and put the beacons on and maybe put some has the lights on you can see that they work at the back like you'd expect but again really good detail um, and just for the, what it offers these trailers again you can't really find better trailers um, on, on the mod hub right now um, and a lot of these mods do come to mod hub you will find them on there as well eventually um, but I think right now if you're going to download them you've got to download them from the website so let's just have a look in the trailers then I think there's a bail block in this but I don't know why it's in there. Sometimes I do find, I don't know if you've seen this in game yet, but if you go into your shop, all of a sudden there's a bale. And I think that's exactly where the number plate goes. But we can still just make it out. Yeah, that'll have to do. Um, yeah. Well, it's, uh, it is blocking slightly, but it'll do. You can still see, hopefully, what I'm trying to show you there, which is the difference in number plate style. So that's the Welsh one. You can have no registration, you can have loads of different types from Ireland, obviously, because of 4D modding where the guys are from, which is Ireland. Uh, but there really is all the types of areas in Ireland. You've got the UK, I think there's five of these different styles. Uh, Northern Ireland, Scotland. So yeah, a lot of like the UK-based ones, um, with it being where it is. All the core types, so if we go for the body, you could actually have a black trailer. So you've got a good good selection of colours on that as well. I mean, like I said, it's a, a really good mod, really good trailer mods. But right now, let's have a look at the balers. So first thing I want to point out, this is a normal baler. Um, this, these are the balers you can get in the game. And currently in FS22, you can have three styles of bales. Uh, you can change the, the, the capacity of three to three sizes. So this is the, the smallest one, 7,000. And as you can see, it's quite... It's not as big as these two over here, uh, but 7,000 is still a good volume to have. Um, and then you've got 8,250, which is like the medium. And then you've got this bigger one, which is 9,000. And it's only just slightly bigger. You can probably just tell it's just slightly bigger. They kind of do look alike, but they are. there is this small difference between them. So let's quickly just have a look at these balers. And so on, on the website, you'll find that this the Heston baler. Uh, there's the New Holland D800. Um, and slash D1000. So you've got two 
New Holland styles, they're quite old, but you've got the D800 and the D1000, and then we've got the Heston Baylor, which is just over there. Now, the D800 is, again, a really good mod, uh, but it offers some different style and size bales. So these are quite small. Uh, you've got 2,468 at the back there, and then this one's a 3,000 litre one. You can see the difference in size there. But what it, the good thing about it is it does offer a wrapper as well on, on the website. So if you did want to do grass silage bales square, but at a different size, you can, and you can wrap them, which is pretty cool. Uh, but if you look at these mods, what's really good as well, again, you can have the number plates. I've, got, I've gone with the Scottish one. Um, not only has it got all the sound effects and there's quite a lot of moving parts, which looks pretty good, you can also put silage additive inside the balers, which I thought was pretty cool. So let's just have a quick look the connections on this because they do make some really good sound effects so we just back up and you can see as well that the it's you see the animation there where it's obviously lifting up that parking it away and you can see that it does want silage additive if you want to put that in um, you can obviously unfold and fold the baler it's got all the sound effects for that And what I also like is when it's actually running, there's a sound effect of when it cuts the bale. Kind of like slice it. It sounds like a slicing effect. Um, again, I wouldn't really know exactly, but it's, uh, yeah. it, it makes it more realistic and a lot more immersive, I'll tell you that. And again, you can change the size of bale from 220, 180 um, with this one, whereas the, the next one, the D1000, actually goes to 240. Um, and you can, so you've got an extra size there on that one. But really good bale, not a bad pickup as well. Um, it's a good size baler. Um, price wise, I will show you more together at the end. So, they're the bales for the D800, and then this is the bale, the bigger bale, the 240. This is 3,300 litres. It comes from the D1000. Now, you can see that it's slightly bigger, uh, pretty much identical, but it's just a little bit bigger and it offers bigger size bales. The animations are pretty similar, and the noises are, again, similar. And again, you can have all the same types of number plates on all these. So, just with this one mod, like you download this one mod here, and it's got these two combined. So you have the option of the D1000 and the D800. And by doing that, you've just opened yourself up to one, two, three different size bales to go with the other th three that you already had. So that's six different shaped size square bales that you can have if you just download this mod and then obviously the ones that come with the base game, um, which does offer a lot of choice. It really does. So the next one we're going to look at is the Heston Baler. Now, I have, this is my favorite baler, baler by far. I, I this is the bale I want to use as much as possible because it just looks amazing and it's the noises, the sound effects, everything about it is really realistic and look at the size bales it offers. Now you might notice that the volume on them is different to the volume on the bales over there. Now that's because obviously it is converted from FS19 and traditionally the bale sizes were 4,000 litres so yes these bales over there look smaller and they have got probably a bigger yield. I think one was up to is it 9,000? Yep, so that one's 9,000. Whereas over here, you've got the smallest one that you can offer from the Heston, which is this. It's 6,338. These three here are the smaller ones. Uh, you've then got a medium-sized one, which I think is, yep, that one over there, which is 7,746. Uh, but then you've got this one that's 8,450, which is the biggest size bale it does. And honestly... When you see them in action, they have massive bales, they're beefy as hell, but they come out, again, loads of animations. Uh, so let's just quickly have a look at the baler. Um, so I'll detach from it first so you can see this in action. You can probably see there's a log underneath as well, which is really cool. There we go. So I'll try and get square on so we can see it better. So you can see that the log comes underneath. Um, this kind of goes to the back, this animation does, and you kind of put it on it. Uh, you can see it just sits there nicely. Um, but if we just have a quick look 
Now, before I open any of the doors and stuff, you can see that the detail is pretty good. Heston Baylor. I mean, I've never seen one of these in real life, but I imagine that he's got this absolutely perfect. And you can't have a difference between the shoot at the back or a collector, which is something you can also download, which I've got over there, which works a treat. And again, it's got silage additive. If you want that, you can, you can have that option in the shop. So if we just go into here and we're gonna we're gonna open these hatches. Now the one opens at the top after that little one there, and then we're also gonna open these side panels. And you can see all the moving parts in action. It is pretty cool. So let's turn it on. Let's have a quick look at this. So first thing I'll notice is this. It looks like a drive shaft from the PTO. You can see that it's obviously moving a lot of the parts. And if we jump up at the top, you can see the actual baler itself inside moving. I think it's compacting the straw as you put it in. Um, and if we have a look from here, so this is the pickup from the ground. So it's picking up the straw. Um, if we go, I think it might be better maybe on the other side. You can obviously see in here the belts and everything on the wheels and the cogs that are working. I mean, don't ask me exactly if this is the exact, I imagine it is, but it looks pretty well done anyway. So it's obviously picked up from here, this pickup down here. It's then going to go up into that bit there where you can see them little blades. And that's kind of chopping the straw. And then this is collecting it, kind of sweeping it up into the chamber. And then from there, it's compacting it, which we saw at the top and then it comes out the back and I just think it's really good how it shows you how this straw is collected then what happens I mean you can't go wrong with that you really can't again details really good and the sound effects as it's going which I'll show you in a second and um, we're going to just go and do some bales in another field where I've got quite a bit of straw left but now you can see how much effort has actually gone into this Heston bale of all these moving parts how long that would take to make um, for us in the game um, and how detailed it is and also the textures when it gets dirty as well, I'll show you that. I've got a uh, bale that I've been using. It's kind of got a lot of wear to it. And uh, yeah, it's uh, really good, really, really impressive. So let's turn this off. And we'll go over to this one. So this is the same bale, but it, the option at the back was the shoot. So this is a mod, the separate mod from the website that you have to download. You can change the color to match the Heston Baylor um, and whatever style you want to go with, which I will show you again in a second from the shop. Um, and what happens is as they drop out, this, if you get this uh, set to operating mode, which I'll quickly quick just show you, you've got transporting mode, which is currently not in. But if I change it to transporting mode, the back kind of folds up like that, but we don't want it to because we're in operating mode. But when the bales come out at the back, you'll go on to here uh, the next bale is going to get pushed to the left and the third one is going to come here and then you have the option to unload and as you're driving it will drop three in a row which is really good because um, in FS19 and we still I don't think we've got one of these mods yet but it was a um, an attachment that you could put on a telehandler where you could pick up bales flat from the ground in like threes and it just makes it so much easier to stack them away manually if you're doing that so when that kind of mod comes out for a uh, attachment front loader or even a telehandler this Line them up like this will make things a lot easier. But I will show you this in action properly, but you've got the option in the shop to have the shoot bit that we've just seen there or this collector attached to the back. Now, one thing I will point out is there is a, a little bug with this, but it's nothing major. But if you're running along and the what I have found, and I think 4D is aware of this because um, I've seen it on his Facebook page, um, on their Facebook page, that if you have three and then you're kind of just carrying on so this is full and you've not unloaded because you can't do it automatically you have to manually unload it from this uh, collector if you put the fourth one in all of a sudden it'll just go a bit crazy and it'll fly up in the air like it's uh, insane so remember to, if this is full i've always found just to unload it as soon as it's full but that's pretty much the detail of the balers that i wanted to show you so I'm in the shop now, I'm going to show you the balers themselves. These two are the cheaper ones, obviously, that I've shown you. They are quite reasonably priced. A good starting balers, 15,000, for that one, the D1000, and then the cheapest one, the D800. However, the Heston baler is quite hefty, 125, but obviously, with the detail that it's in, I mean, I don't know why that bale's there. Um, I guess it's quite poignant for what we're doing. Obviously, that is a big size bale that's coming from an Heston baler. 
Uh, but let's have a look. So you've got different wheel setups. You've got different model configurations. Now, we, we're with the 4,900 Heston. You can have the old style where you can see straight away from the sides. You haven't got the doors to open. Uh, but then you can actually go to the 4,910. So they obviously get better in age. The Fiat Agri um, Heston 4,900 new. Um, new Hollands now. And they're obviously getting Massey one. Different Massey style. Challenger. New Holland. You've got really, I've got some good, and then I think the case is the last one, so that'd be the most modern version of this Heston Baylor. So you have got quite a lot of options, and it's good because you can change the color of the collector as well. So additional options, you can have two, you can have the storage and two fire extinguishers, just for show, obviously. And you've got your beacon types. You can have LEDs. Now registration style with this one, you can see that it's uh, just sitting there. You've got the UK ones. Northern Ireland, Wales, but then I think we've actually got some extras that I've seen. So we don't want the Irish ones. There you go. So we've got a... After the island, we've got an Australian one, New South Wales. Um, we've got another Australian one, British Columbia. I haven't got a clue where that is, but we've got that. I think these are uh, Can Canadian now, aren't they? Yep, these are Quebec, Belgium, Germany. So you've got quite a lot now when it comes to the um, Heston Bella, French. So I do like that he's. I do like that you've got more options on the Heston Bella. Poland, Sweden, it seems like there's a, all the countries. South Africa was the last one there. So I don't think there was an American though. Um, yeah, so you've got the bail shoot and then the bail accumulator. If you buy it with the Parkland accumulator, you can attach the um, the bale collector. Um, and if you buy it with the bale chute, you've got one side which kind of tips the bale. And then you've got another one that's uh, the one we've been showing, which just drops the bale. So you've got some good options there, but you can't, like I said, buy it as, with the accumulator on. And then you've got the option for a silage tank here. So there we go. I mean, I honestly think, my, my personal opinion is this baler here is the most detailed baler you can probably get right now. Uh, that's a mod and it really does offer quite a lot uh, of enjoyment because it's it's more immersive it's more realistic you've got this bale collector at the back as well which adds a bit of uh, different uh, and a bit of fun to it so i think the best thing to do now is just show you the detail of what the textures look like when it gets a bit dirty so you can see that this baler has had some use um, it's got quite a lot of mud on it and if we start it up again You can see that it's definitely a bit weird. The dirt's on it as well. But the textures are perfect. They really are. Let's just have a quick jump up. You can see these well at the top. This looks all wet. It's not just, you know, you can tell this is an aged baler, which I do like because if you've had it for quite a while and you've done some serious baling in it, it's going to show. The wear's going to show. Um, obviously, if you clean it off, which you can do. If you want it, and we just have a look at the difference between when it's got dirt on it and uh, just somewhere. So now this is just worn, it's freshly obviously just had a jet wash, it's clean, uh, but it has got sort of quite a bit of wear on it still. Really impressive. Right, so I've done a bit of bailing, you can see that I've been dropping them in threes around the field, which would be making things a lot easier to collect. Uh, but now we're currently just on here. We're about to drop out our third. So let's do a bit of bailing and let's have a listen to the sound effects. Now I have got silage additive in this. And I'm doing the bigger size ones, the 240s. So if we drop it, turn it on, we'll get going. And I'll make sure I go to the back um, attachments. And you might be able to hear and it kind of slices which we're going to get wait till it gets to around 100% of this third well it's the fourth bale it's the one inside the third bale is just about to come out that was the sound effect so this bale now has just gone on so what I like to do because of the fact that you don't want to be obviously having any issues is get, you can obviously unload these so I'm going to unload these now so you can obviously carry on driving and then you press unload and then you say yeah I want to unload them there and they drop out and then you just drop that back down and then these will start collecting again uh, the next three 
dead simple, but obviously it just makes things a lot. I think it makes things better. It improves the gameplay for me. Because if you're trying to manually load and unload your bills, these things just make things a little bit easier for it. So we'll do another three. We'll have it look at it in action. Especially as it drops this second one, because you'll see it go to the side, the left hand side. I just don't want to miss any. Now you can, I guess, probably find a way to adjust the size of the bales if you wanted to. I'd have to check that. I do like that sound effect though when you know a bale's just been sliced away. Um, and there you go, a second one has just come out of the chamber. So we're just about to drop the third. Move on to the fourth bale, which is just done. So we're on to the fourth one now. So we need to unload. There we go. Easy as that. I think we'll leave it there. I think I've shown you in detail now. The Heston Baler by 4D Modding. And what a, what a baler it is. It really is. And I'm definitely going to be using this as much as possible. Um, in my uh, let's plays and whatever else depends how much money I've got because it is a bit expensive but it is worth the money um, I wouldn't mind investing the money into a bill like that because of the fact that it's just yeah really good um, and it improves the game a lot so what I'll quickly do before I just end the video is I'll show you the website where to download these mods from um, the link for the website will be in the video description um, but I'll quickly just show you what to do and how to get them right so this is the website that's on uh, 4d modding uh, Facebook page. These are where you'll see the link. So when he drops a new mod, he'll link it to this page. It usually links to the home page over here. But what you want to do is click 4D modding. Um, you've got FS19, FS17. We're obviously looking at FS22. So we click that. And then here is the mods that you can download right now. So you've got the Heston Builder down here. This is the collector. Um, you've got the two trailers that I showed you, the two uh, muck spreaders, and obviously the D800 and the D1000 over here. And then you've also got the wrapper here. For the D800, D1000. I um, haven't tried it on the actual Heston Biller. That'll be interesting to check. I don't know if it will, but um, it says there D1000 and Heston Bale, so I imagine that it would wrap as well. And then you've got a nice little tether as well if you want that. So definitely go check it out. out. All you've got to do is click download and then you'll download it straight away. Put it into your mod folder like normal. And there you go. You can have fun. You can have the Heston Biller and uh, add it to your arsenal of Balers to choose. Uh, so hopefully you've enjoyed this video, hopefully you found it useful. Like I said, it's, it's the first time I've ever done a mod review like this, but I just think 4D modding for me is one of the best modders out there for British style equipment, and that Heston Baylor for me is an absolute gem. I highly recommend it, it really is a great mod, really well detailed, well made, you can tell a lot of time and effort has gone into it. So yeah, thanks for watching, please give the video a thumbs up, and also subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one.